Changing minds one thought at a time Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this special edition of Changing Minds Online in our brand new series, Unlocking Your Code. Akina, how are you tonight? I am great. How about yourself today, Jessica? I am doing wonderful. It is a privilege and honor always to welcome our amazing co-host for this series, Lisa DeMeo, on our call. For those of you who don't know who she is, I mean, she is unequivocally one of the most phenomenal women I have ever met. She is not only a millionaire in in the field of network marketing, but she's dedicated her entire life to helping people truly experience ideal health and living in their ideal bodies. She's built her entire career on the platform that we get to be the best version of ourselves and we deserve to be the best version of ourselves by finding and living into our ideal health. So it is a privilege and honor to welcome Lisa DeMeo on the call tonight. Welcome, Lisa. Uh, thanks so much, Jeff, and I'm so excited to be here, especially to be uh, interviewing our, our special guest this evening. So first I'd like to talk about um, integrative genetic solutions and tell people what exactly that is. So IGS is a software platform designed to help doctors regulate gene, patients' gene expression. And sometimes we don't realize we're feeling so bad until we start to feel good. And what does it mean to bring the body to optimal levels? And there's so much, um, really, it, it, I love this quote. In this day and age, ignorance is a choice. And there is ignorance about this. We need to educate the public as to what's available to start to feel amazing. And we're buying into this, the, this society's way of thinking. Oh, you're just getting older. Oh, it's just that you have kids. Oh, it's just that you work so much. It's just this. It's just that. And that's not true. So if we can truly understand how the body operates, we can fix it. So optimal body chemistry signals the body to upregulate or downregulate genes in a way that optimizes energy, body fat, lean muscle mass, mental acuity, and the immune system. And it's our gene expression that controls the vast majority of how our bodies operate and how they function. So to function, sometimes people like me take stimulants like coffee. We are drawn to quick energy fixes from sugar. Our bodies start to crave calories because in our body we're thinking winter's coming. And this all pushes our gene regulation even further in the wrong direction. So what IGS? is it's a platform that lets doctors access 20 to 30 hours of basic pharmaceutical calculations paired with leading-edge genetic research. And it's a diagnostic tool that enhances a doctor's treatment and it augments their practical experience. So what's been incredible for us on this journey is to partner with some of the most brilliant minds in the industry. So I'd like to introduce tonight's guest. He is a dear friend of mine. We've we've just, um, it's been an absolute pleasure to work with him on so many levels, Dr. John Salerno. And he is a world-renowned physician with 15 years clinical experience. He served as a preceptor at Yale Medical School and worked closely with the late Dr. Atkins. His professional experience is extensive in Europe, South America, Japan, the U.S. It puts him in the forefront of integrative and preventative medicine. Dr. Salerno is the founder of the Salerno Institute for Complementary Medicine in New York City. And as well, he's the co-founder of anti-aging clinics in Tokyo, and the Chief Medical Officer behind Renew Life Anti-Aging Clinic in Sao Paulo, Brazil. You may have read one of his three books, and you're going to love this, Just Fight Fat with Fat, Silver Cloud Diet, and Salerno Solutions. If you haven't met him personally or you haven't seen him, you may have seen his work or you may have heard him speak on Fox News, Fox Business, He's been all over TV and radio, WPIX News, Channel 2 News, and a show called Filthy Rich. So it is 
without any further ado, that I'd like to welcome to the call my dear friend, another brilliant mind in our industry, Dr. Salerno. Dr. Salerno, welcome. Thank you so much, Lisa, and thank you for such a wonderful introduction. And you're so welcome and so deserving. So what I'd love to talk about tonight, we are always talking about hormones. And, we, you know, we know that you stress the importance of using only the finest treatments and the finest therapies in your practice. So more and more men and women are hearing about natural hormone replacement or bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. So what I would love for you to do is if you could explain to the audience what is bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Yes, sure, Lisa. I'd be happy to. One of the things that we look at uh, as we age is, and and really affecting all our chronic issues uh, and diseases related to aging, is that our hormones are always declining, particularly after age 30. And hence, we see a strong correlation between the maladies of aging and low hormone levels. So the idea is, and what we do in my practice and many other colleagues will do, is that we want to optimize hormone levels to that of a 30 or 35-year-old male or female, and we use what we call bioidentical hormones, which are hormones that mimic exactly what our bodies produce. They're not synthesized or synthetic. They're not foreign like Premarin or Prempro, so that the body actually knows what to do with it because it's chemically identical to what our bodies produce. And how does the idea program fit into why would you use something like IGS to help determine how to use this this therapy on a patient? Well, that's a great question. IGS is really a fascinating new science and algorithm that allows me and other colleagues as physicians to optimize our patient's um, response to these bioidentical hormones based on individual parameters of, of our own genetics. So what may be good for um, one person, the identical age and weight, is not necessarily good for another person at that same dosage. So IGS allows us to not only identify patients that uh, need more or less hormones, but allows us to optimize based on genetics. And what type of patients would benefit from bioidentical hormone replacement? Probably any patient um, that's over 40, although we do have some young men and women in their 20s on bioidentical hormones, and what we'll do and what we'll, uh, with IGS we'll do, we'll look at those parameters, look at levels, and then we'll decide if the levels are optimized at any age. So technically speaking, we can use um, almost any patient at any age that has lower than their um, average hormone levels to uh, use uh, for bioidentical hormones. But typically, patients over 40, as our hormones start to uh, decline rapidly, uh, these are the ideal patients. But again, we will also use patients in their 20s that um, will have low hormones that we will start on uh, on a replacement program. And you said for men and women. So can it's typically when I hear hormone replacement therapy, I immediately think of women. Is this something that men can benefit from as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Oftentimes the women start feeling so well that they send their spouses in. Uh, so <laughs> men will benefit also uh, because, they, they, you know, hormones like testosterone in men and we look at things like DHEA and, and um, pregnenolone and hormones that are related to adrenal function and cortisol, uh, these all have to be looked at and addressed because um, men also, uh, of course, have declining hormones, and we see remarkable changes in men, both from a mood standpoint, from decreased belly fat to um, strength to uh, vitality. We also see issues with cognitive function improving. There's just a whole... uh, uh, 10 or 15 different health parameters that improve once we optimize hormones in both men and women. Are there any side effects associated with bioidentical hormone replacement therapy? And what is the long-term safety effect of using this type of therapy in a patient? 
Right. Well, we want to make sure that the levels are optimized, and that's where IGS and the algorithms will come in, so that we want to make sure that we're not overdoing some hormones. Too much of a good thing could always be a little bit of a problem, but we typically don't see much in the way of uh, side effects. Occasionally, we may see blood pressure increases, um, which we monitor closely. Sometimes red blood cell count may increase, but again, we'll modify and uh, change the doses based on that. But typically, long-term, we see great benefits. We can really reverse the signs and symptoms of the aging process. Two major studies, one out of Europe and one out of the University of Texas that looked at bioidentical hormones, found them to be extraordinarily safe. There was no increased risk of breast cancers or any cancers in women. Um, and for men, absolutely no increased risk of prostate or any other cancers. In fact, we see decreases and decline, declining rates of cancers in both men and women who are on bioidentical hormones. So we see this as being extraordinarily safe and really life-changing. So you mentioned people in their 20s, men and women, coming in. Are there any symptoms that we should be aware of for a patient to warrant uh, seeing, uh, coming into your practice and asking for this, or should people automatically get checked for this? So you're saying in, their, in the 20s, what signs should we be looking for, and how do we know what optimal even feels like? So when I, you know, for me, I didn't realize how bad I was feeling until I started to feel good. And I think there's, people are just completely unaware that there's a whole nother level of feeling good, and we just start to accept feeling less than as part of the aging process. So what I'm hearing you say is we don't need to feel like that. Through the IGS program, through bioidentical hormone replacement, we can actually reverse those feelings and feel like we did 10 or 15 years ago. So what would prompt a a 20-something to want to come in and even ask for this? Yeah, that's a great question. So, uh, for example, we could have a male or a female 20-year-old uh, complaining of issues related to fatigue, uh, brain fog, just inability to uh, get motivated to um, get up in the morning, uh, issues related to increased belly fat. We have a lot of women that complain of uh, severe PMS issues. These are the are my 20-year-olds that benefit greatly with the program. So once we identify hormones... Uh, we can then optimize them. And again, at that level, we'll aim, and the algorithms then will look at the average uh, optimized 20-year-old patients, and, and IGS then will allow me to um, to determine what levels and what uh, strengths of these hormones we need to give our patients. So really, and, and the advantage, too, even with a patient that may feel well, it's a huge advantage to get their hormone levels at a young age. So we have a basis for comparison as they age so that we can uh, continue to uh, optimize hormones over time. So really, as I said, almost everyone can benefit, but uh, those that have those specific complaints that I've just mentioned uh, really should get in and see an IGS physician and get their hormones checked. It's shocking to me that all of those symptoms are directly related to, uh, I would say, a hormone deficiency or not being optimal. And I don't think most people would even think that I, I'm cloudy or I don't feel good or I'm tired would have to do with, with our hormones. So is there any patient that you would feel um, wouldn't be a good candidate for this? Well, the the only patient that we we would stay away from uh, and we would not recommend are pregnant women for the most part, other than, of course, addressing uh, the other major hormone, which we do routinely, is thyroid. So they would, um, at, at least that has to be addressed. Uh, and perhaps patients that have active um, cancers, breast or prostate men, only because of the, at least in the literature, the potential to increase the um, the growth rate of these cancers on hormones, although, again, that literature is not uh, really quite clear, but we just want to uh, be extra cautious in those patients. Other than that, we uh, recommend everyone at least be tested, and if they're having any of those symptoms, they really should embark on a good, optimized uh, hormone replacement, bioidentical hormone replacement plan. 
And what about uh, medications? Are there any other medications that could ever interfere with hormone replacement therapy? Um, how do you monitor that? Is it a one-time thing? Does a patient come into your practice one time? And um, how do you work with a follow-up? How often do you need to see a patient? What would the protocol be if I was a brand-new patient coming in to see you for the very first time? What, what should I expect going through the program? So I'm coming to the Salerno Institute in New York City for the first time. What happens after that? Right. Well, the first visit, we will do extensive blood testing, a, great, a good history, detailed history and physical. Uh, we will do um, an exam, a physical exam. And then in about two to three weeks as a follow-up, we will then go over extensive blood testing. Uh, there's about a 20-page blood report that will go over everything related to both cholesterol, lipids, all the hormones, the adrenal hormones, uh, very detailed and uh, esoteric tests, vitamin levels, heavy metal testing. Uh, and then we will um, design a program with IGS, the algorithm, that will allow us to then um, optimize the patient's health. We will then see the patient about a month after we get them on the hormones in the plan, and then a follow-up from that point in about uh, six to eight weeks. And generally, the frequency of visits after that would be every three months or so, just checking bloods and parameters. You know, Lisa, every day you know, with stresses here in the city and, and with medications, as you mentioned, and lack of sleep and constant caffeine, um, levels continually change. Uh, this is probably why so many people would benefit dramatically by getting their hormones and, and having uh, all these parameters checked because we do see such deficient hormones. We have toxins in the air, toxins in the food, all affecting our own productions of hormone levels. So it's almost a given that at any given time, almost at any age, a patient would benefit with uh, bioidentical hormone replacement. It's so interesting to me. Uh, so I, do you, I know that people are coming in and they really, they don't know how bad they feel and so they start to feel good. And I think the average patient is coming in when they already get to the point of not feeling well. So is this something that you would um, consider under the umbrella of preventative medicine? Yes, that's a great question, Lisa. Absolutely. Again, as I said, these studies out of Europe and the one in University of Texas, and there's some other major ongoing studies. Yeah, this is all preventative, proactive medicine. You know, let's optimize our hormones. Up, let's optimize vitamin intake. Let's uh, optimize and change our diet, our lifestyle, our stress stressors, and um, and we can live long, happy, healthy, productive lives. And when we talk about preventative medicine, I know there's a lot of athletes that will be listening to this show. So, Dr. Salerno, we're all concerned, and uh, maybe a, a patient of yours who, who suffers from adrenal fatigue, oftentimes these athletes, they're pushing themselves to the umph degree. Is this something, if you're regulating hormones and using bioidentical hormone therapy, is it something that could help maybe prevent adrenal fatigue in an athlete or somebody who's really taking their body, uh, a Wall Street broker, we're right here in New York City, uh, really pushing themselves to, to the limit? Yes, uh, good question, Lisa. Absolutely. I mean, number one, we look at vitamins that nourish our adrenals, and we optimize those so that we um, we have the uh, materials for our adrenal or adrenals to produce their hormones. And then secondarily, we will give adrenal hormones so that we make sure that they never get depleted. So yes, we want to make sure that the adrenal glands are optimized. They're strong in conjunction with the adrenals. The thyroid is always checked. And that always has to be uh, regulated and, and kept strong through nutrients and through bioidentical hormone. So by doing and addressing and staying on top of, uh, of nutrition, vitamin replacement, and um, hormone replacement, our patients will avoid adrenal stress and shutdown, which we see continually here, particularly in New York City. And how many patients would you say a year are currently in your practice are on bioidentical hormone replacement therapy? 
Oh gosh, good question. We probably have uh, I don't know maybe over seven eight hundred patients right now that are on bioidentical hormones on a on a consistent basis. Some of which have been with me um, maybe over fifteen or twenty years now. So uh, and that that number continues to grow as friends tell friends and how well they're doing. So we uh, we do a lot of um, bioidentical hormones here in New York. That's a, that's a, an astounding number, 800 patients. Um, is this program covered through insurance? Well, what we try to do, excuse me, is we have most of our patients, um, all their labs are covered. Uh, some of their visits are also reimbursed if they have out-of-network insurance. So, yes, um, we cover that. <clears throat> most of the fees are up front, as I said, but they will get reimbursed to some degree based on what insurance they may have. If they have had a network insurance, then they may be covered, sometimes up to 80 or 100%. Now, you talk so much about, um, you know, I, I have to remind the audience, Dr. Salerno has three books published right now. I'd love to talk a little bit about uh, your books and, and why you believe so much in fighting fat with fat. And I, I want to get into... Um, your whole philosophy on how you, how and why you think the way you do, um, with food being such a big part of our everyday lifestyle, that you are certainly never an advocate for even a little bit of sugar, and you're very much um, following a low carb protocol. So, can you tell us about your book and, and what what was the passion behind writing? Fight fat with fat. Yeah, that that's a good question, Lisa. I mean, part of my whole background, of course, is with the late great Dr. Atkins, and he certainly uh, reconvinced me about the the problems with bad carbs, starches, and and sugars. I think it also goes back uh, to my days as a resident when I had to do surgical uh, rotations, and I remember. Uh, um, probably the 90% of our patients going in for surgery, we had to do coronary artery bypass or we had to do arterial bypass in the legs. And invariably, as I said, almost uh, maybe more than 90% of these patients had diabetes. So it occurred to me that diabetes and blood sugar is really related to the issues surrounding coronary artery disease, not fat as we've been taught and as I was taught in medical school, and that, of course, meeting and working with Dr. Atkins at the time for three years or so uh, reiterated that and convinced me totally, which then led me to um, do my own uh, research and, of course, uh, get my Fight Fat with Fat book out, which really addresses the issues that's been really plaguing society for about 40 years that the FDA has promoted really healthy, quote, carbohydrates, allowing some sugars and not addressing um, and, and really vilifying fat when fat really is not the culprit. And the double whammy of that is that when when society went low fat, when we take fat out of food, we replace it generally with bad carbs or sugars, which again becomes, as I said, a double whammy with our health. So the whole dogma has to change. So the gist of my book is that we want to reduce carbohydrates, the bad ones, um, never be afraid of natural fats, and to stay on organic uh, foods and lifestyle as often as possible. And this is not only a way to lose weight, but it'll optimize health, prevent Alzheimer's, prevent cancers, and allow us to live long, happy, healthy lives. So what kind of fats are good fats? Natural fats that, that, fats that exist in nature, including saturated fats, so like, for example, butter. Um, healthy fat, been vilified for years, but it's a very healthy, um, beneficial fat. For example, the name butter comes from butyric acid. Research in my Fight Fat with Fat book led me to a very interesting uh, uh, two articles from uh, very high, well-respected institutions that showed that butyric acid turns off genes that turn on cancer. So eating butter, for example, tends to... Um, turn these cancer genes off, particularly in the colon. So we had been replacing butters with margarine, which is the detrimental fat, unnatural butter. 
Um, cheese is fine. We look at the French and they eat cheese for breakfast and they um, they have a h very high saturated fat diet but it's all natural fat and what we found when we looked at the cheese and something as we call the French paradox the French we used to think drinking a lot of red wine uh, prevented their heart disease now we're looking at vitamin K in cheese which actually acts as a rotor rooter to calcified arteries so the science is actually thinking that vitamin K in cheese is preventing heart disease in France. So these, um, again, fats that have always been uh, uh, told to us to be avoided are actually extraordinarily beneficial. So these are the subjects and the um, issues that we discuss in my Fight Fat with Fat and my Silver Cloud Diet book. And what is the main difference between the Fight Fat for Fat book and the Silver Cloud Diet book? Silver Cloud was my first uh, diet book, and Fight Fat with Fat is really basically just a corollary, corollary, corollary to that book, and it's a little uh, it's a, a additional issues related to uh, the organic phase of my diet, but they're quite similar, and it's really the second part of the Silver Cloud book, which is my Fight Fat with Fat book. And what about the Salerno Solution? Salerno Solution is, um, incorporates diet, lifestyle, and emphasizes vitamin intake to, um, on prevention of, of five or six major diseases like Alzheimer's, like cardiovascular disease, cancers, etc., diabetes. So it's a real proactive preventative book emphasizing uh, vitamins, nutrition, and, um, and does talk a bit about diet and, uh, and weight issues. Where can we find these books? You can find them on uh, my website, salernocenter.com, or on my fightfatwithfat.com website. And I have a Silver Cloud Diet uh, website. We also have uh, my vitamin website, which, which uh, has our uh, list of probably 30 or so vitamins uh, that we sell in conjunction with our lifestyle to enhance the the diet, and the bioidentical hormone replacement therapies. And if a patient, I, I, I would like to tell everybody, too, uh, Dr. Salerno is my personal doctor, and when I had come to see him, we went through the IGS program, and uh, I found a host of things wrong with me. I had no idea. And using this protocol, uh, I had seen him, and he said, you know you're pre-diabetic, and was completely shocked, and um, you know, distraught, really. I knew I had adrenal fatigue. And through his protocol, his nutritional guidelines, along with the DNA test that I had taken through the IGS program that told me my body type more or less needs to follow a Mediterranean diet, which is what he had been drilling in my head anyway, and using bioidentical hormone replacement and really using drips in his practice and what he has in in, in his center, um, feel like I did in my 20s with the all the knowledge I have from being in my 40s. So it's truly been um, a remarkable marriage to have IGS working with such brilliant and beautiful minds. So, Dr. Salerno, I just want to thank you truly um, for all you've done for me, for the 800 plus patients that you're seeing, and for all the people listening to this this show this evening, can you please tell us how we can get in touch with you? Do we have anybody out there searching you right now? Sure, and yes, they can go to SalernoCenter.com, my main website. My books and vitamins are all, uh, and the other websites are linked to that, like the FightFatWithFat.com, uh, or they can call my office. Uh, 212-582-1700. We're at the 12 East 52nd Street, right next to Fifth Avenue in New York City. So uh, either way, uh, they can certainly get in contact with the office. Thank you so much, and thank you for taking the time to educate all of us this evening. And Jessica, I want to thank you so much for having us on the show tonight. Great, and thank you, Lisa. Absolutely. Absolutely, the pleasure is mine. Um, Dr. Salerno, I just want to thank you on, on my behalf and on behalf of all of our listeners. I know that everyone's going to enjoy the um, show and really benefit very greatly. So thank you again for your time. 
Oh, anytime. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Akina, there's, um, would you like to let in our audience know where they can get a replay of this call if they have friends or family they'd like to share it with? Oh, well, certainly. You can definitely find this call on changingmindsonline.com. You can also find us on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, and, of course, the YouTube channel. Awesome. Well, thank you again to everyone, and we wish you a great week and have a great night. Thanks again. Thank you.